Hey guys, Gina here. The shelves are up and inside the house now. They look fantastic. I do have a little bit of touch up to do. I also have to add the other decorative uh, pieces up there, but they are outside drying. So I just wanted to show you what they look like inside the house for right now. As you can see, I have the vacuum. I've been cleaning them out, dusting them. Um, I've been grabbing random things that have been sprinkled all throughout my house. We'll go and get a closer look right now. At some of the stuff that <laughs> I just started putting up this is not the where they're gonna go it was just I needed to get it out of like the bedrooms and little nooks and crannies and places because I didn't want to forget this stuff but this is not even even the start of the stuff that I have to put on these shelves so I thought it would be fun if you guys want to follow along let's go decorate so first stop we gotta go to my holiday storage. Here we have my holiday storage. So <laughs> there's tons of Christmas on this side and then all my Halloween on that side. And there's actually some Christmas spilling in over there and Christmas spilling in over here because this is all new stuff. But a lot of the stuff is stuff that I've thrifted and picked up from yard sales and whatnot. I'm gonna come in here right now. These tubs, especially this one, has my paper mache and my antique stuff. So I'm definitely excited to get that out so I can see it and enjoy it. Um, but yeah, so I don't have to get everything out of here, but I definitely wanna get these tub sections right in here because that's where all the good stuff is. There's some die cuts and stuff down there. Random miscellaneous things. What's exciting is I'm hoping to downsize some of these black tubs because as you can tell, there's Christmas spillage everywhere and they need to be in black tubs. So yeah, that's my plan. Get some of the stuff out on the shelves, give me some tubs, then I'm gonna organize all my Christmas and everything will have a place and a purpose once again. And yeah. I'm super excited about this situation. All right, so why delay? Let's dig into my most favorite box. This is the one full of all of my paper mache pumpkins and true vintage antique Halloween stuff. I am super excited because some of this stuff has not been displayed yet. I'm not really sure when this guy was made. He does seem a little bit older, but he also is plastic, but he just has that, you know, aged vibe to him, don't you think? He definitely deserves a spot on the shelf. So I guess what I'll do is just unwrap everything and stick it on a shelf for now. I'm not really sure if I want to do kind of a crazy eclectic, mixed up, you know, randomness everywhere on the shelves or if I kind of want to organize and theme the shelves up. So maybe like skeletons and skulls over here, witches and black cats over here, records and that kind of thing. So I guess we'll just start digging this stuff out and just see how it goes and what I can come up with. But you guys, I'm so super stoked. This is going to be so much fun. I love this guy so much. Here's my pumpkin slash Santa lantern. Blinking lantern. I love these guys and they work, which is really awesome. That kind of stuff is going to go higher up because I love my son, but I don't trust <laughs> have a bunch of spun cotton. <laughs> Should all my paper mache be scattered throughout? Should it all be in one shelf? I don't know. Decisions, decisions. It's my pumpkin man. My little pumpkin person. He's so cute. Now, if you guys watched a couple of months ago, I did a thing on all of my paper mache and these guys were in there. Now, I know a little bit more information now than I did before, but these are actually remakes and they did a really good job. And the way you can tell is one, the eyes were kind of giving me a hard time. The inside, they did a really good job, but I think this is a little pumpkin from seasons gone by. And I think this is late nineties. Um, but yeah, they did a really good job and he's such a cute little pumpkin guy. Someday he's going to be vintage and antique, but, um, I think out of all the reproductions, just the way that these ones were made, these guys did a really good job. 
Now this guy is small and true genuine antique. So This is another one by Seasons Gone By. See little ears? This guy is really cool. Someone told me in the pumpkin video that I made that this one actually had a bunch of caramel candy that came in and it had a really pretty cellophane wrapping to it. So thank you so much whoever told me that because now I know a little bit more about my pumpkin. This is the biggest one that I have. <laughs> and probably one of the oldest too. This is probably one of the rarest pumpkins that I have. It's a cat. And if you guys are interested in a deeper look into my paper mache pumpkins, like I said, I do have a video. I will put that in the description below and you can go check that out. Oh, <laughs> his eyes are a little sideways. Here we go. That's a little better. <laughs> And last but not least, I guess this was more of a paper mache pumpkin tub. I thought there were more antique stuff in here, but maybe there's some other stuff scattered throughout. But this is my paper mache owl. And this guy is big. And most of this stuff came from an estate sale, one estate sale. Someone had this all and I grabbed as much as I could. I only have 15 minutes and I did miss some Halloween stuff, unfortunately. But the person who got it, I know. So <laughs> I'm hoping through the great find in time, I'll be able to, you know, curate some of that back. <laughs> so that's it for this tub. Um, we will put the paper back in there and now I'll go through another tub and pull some of the things out and then we'll start organizing new tubs so I can make some empty tubs and yeah. Get that Christmas stuff organized. <laughs> I have a bunch of other new stuff that I picked up from a lady who oh, so graciously gave me her collection. And you guys, I'm sure she has a ton more, but this is just so exciting because I'm so excited to display this stuff. It's just been sitting here for a couple of weeks. I wanted to show you my newest paper mache pumpkin. Um, <laughs> this one I got off of eBay and I got him for a smoking deal and I've always wanted a choir boy and this one is double sided, which is amazing. So obviously this side is a little bit better, so we will just leave him this way, but I was super stoked to get him. All right. So this next tub that I grabbed looks to be mostly little pails. And that kind of thing. I'm probably going to set this box aside. There are a couple of things in here I do want to pick out. But for the most part, I don't know. This is the kind of like filler stuff I'm thinking to put at the end. So I can get all the big pieces in. And then this stuff just come and play stuff around. So yeah. So we've got bags and bags of cauldrons and new old stock. These are so cute. But then we have some good stuff like these kind of guys. These are so much fun. And this is the bright orange that's going to look so good against here. Really make it pop, right? She definitely deserves a place. This one has a stem and a handle where this one doesn't. But they're similar, aren't they? This one must have gone on top of something. I'm wondering if this was like a rattle or a light cover. But there is a whole tub just full, <laughs> full of little pails. And they're all from different ages. So some of them are really old. Some of them are newer. Um, there's little containers. <laughs> there's little containers in here. Let's see what else we have. We have some blow molds. So these ones were actually like steak light covers. These are cute. I'll put a couple of these out. I have a bunch of them in here, but probably just pick one or two of the best ones and then stick it somewhere. This is fun. This is a flashlight cover. And this one has a hole on the top. So this one was a little candy pail. This is one of my favorite things. This is one of my first vintage finds out in the wild. Um, this is a little bank blow mold. It's kind of small as you can tell, but I love it so much. There's just so much detail around the bottom of it. I found this guy at an estate. I got to go to an estate sale where they had a 
bunch of holiday stuff. Halloween, Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, you name it, they had it. But I have a video for that too, which I will link below. If this is your first time watching, definitely want to check that out because there was so much wonderful stuff in that house. Here's one of these. This is like, a, I want to say people turn these into tiki torches or something, but um, this is just another blow mold, you know, cover for porch lights or for your steak lights out in front. I think I'm going to leave this in the box for now. There's a bunch of stuff that I do want to display. I will put him there if there's room for him. Um, he's just kind of a secondary thing right now, but We'll come back, we'll revisit this box. There's so many little knick-knacky things in here that we can just sprinkle around and fill up all of the space inside. We don't need this right now. It's just gonna get in our way, right? All right, I found a box full of die cuts that I've placed in here from thrifting and yard sales. And there's some really good ones in here that I am super excited to get out and display. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't wait. But that whole box is full of more die cuts. If you guys know me, you know I love die cuts. There was also this. I just wanted to say thank you so much. I did a trade with a subscriber. So they saw one of my motion at tombstones, I think. And I said, got any die cuts? And they said, let's trade. <laughs> but this is what I was so super excited about. I did not have these yet. These are from 1993. These are from the Bicycle Company. <gasps> Aren't they awesome? Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> but these are going to look so cool up against that orange. Oh, I love it so, so much. And then I also, I completely forgot, but I ordered this. This was from another YouTube channel this is from shiny bright doggo shout out to laura and janine i don't know if any of you guys are watching them but they have a youtube channel where they go thrifting and they love holiday stuff as well so they do sales every once in a while and this was one of the things they were selling and i love spooky old trees so i could not pass it up so shout out to shiny bright doggo guys definitely check them out if you haven't yet so I'm digging all these bins out and I'm just so frustrated because even though I have so much space to fill up, there's no way I'm going to be able to display everything. So I guess I'm just going to have to pick my favorite things and then everything else. We'll just have to wait until we get closer to Halloween. But like I've never displayed this stuff and it's so cute. It's just so fragile. I mean... I guess if I hang that up, I can hang this kind of stuff up in the background. I don't know. I mean, it definitely needs to be cleaned. It is very dusty, but it's just so stinking adorable. And it looks so good up against the orange. Ugh. I don't know what to do. I have way too many die cuts. <laughs> ah! I have way too many die cuts. Oh, I just love them so stinking much. I mean, they're the best. Oh my gosh. I mean, he obviously is way too big for my shelves. I mean, and it's cool because I could put him in the background, but uh, he's just going to have to wait. I got to get that sticker off of him. Look at this witch. I mean, have I showed you guys these before? I don't even think I have. These are amazing, right? Oh my gosh, the green on that witch. These are gorgeous and so much fun. And for any of you who are cat lovers, I mean, you guys, look at this. These are amazing. They have to be displayed. They cannot stay in storage any longer. I'm going to have to figure something out. Instead of I'm going to need a bigger boat, I'm going to need a bigger shelf. <laughs> I'm going to need a bigger house. It's going to be nothing but die cuts. It'll just be the die cut house. Then we'll have a blow mold house and then a paper mache house. <laughs> what else can we do? A tchotchke and knickknack house. Pails. Oh, my word. Well, guys, I'm in trouble. I went down the die cut rabbit hole. <laughs> Let me just show you what I'm looking at here. This is where I store most of my die cuts if they haven't been framed already. And I'm just going through here. Now, thank goodness that some of these are really big, but some of them aren't. 
and a lot of these came from the Bicel company. Um, they sent me a bunch of die cuts generously. And so I'm just, oh my gosh, there's just hundreds of them. And I want to display all of them. And I can't. <laughs> I mean, he needs to be displayed, right? So here I am. I'm just, you know, as much fun as this started out, now I'm just kind of overwhelmed because <laughs> now I'm like staring at it and I'm like immobile. What am I going to do? Plan D. <laughs> we are starting with two blank shelves and we are going to fill them up. <laughs> and then maybe from there, something amazing will stem from it. So yes, let's get something in these two shelves and we'll start from there. We'll pare it down and yes. So first step, let's find some die cuts. Let's put it in the background. So die cuts first. All right, this seems to be working much better for my brain. So we have jack-o'-lanterns right here, cats in here, and I even came down here, started putting some of my witch stuff in there. So yeah, this will work a lot better. So I think what I'll do is just pick a shelf and then just start grouping similar items together and sticking them in there and then we can go from there. So I went out and I got another random box of stuff. This one has all kinds of random stuff in it. So this looks like the leftovers of stuff that I found in the house after Halloween was over. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I forgot to put that away. And I forgot to put that away. So this is what that box looks like. I don't know if it is, but we will check it out. Oh yes, this is great. This is a pumpkin carving kit. This is from Let's see, William Sonoma in 2001, but it does have a kit inside of it. I love this. This is going to look fun. I can probably put this up with my pumpkins. This looks like a random bucket full of toys. We've got some bats, little game pieces and stuff like that. There's all kinds of little Halloween friends in here. <laughs> so that'll be fun. That will be an after thing. I don't want to mess with all this stuff right now. I'll probably go put that over with the uh, little pails and buckets. Have some streamer. Black and orange, of course. Handle for a bucket. But there's no bucket in there. Hmm. Interesting. We have fun, you know. We can maybe drape that on the bottom of one of the shelves. That might be fun to do. Change it up from the other ones. Oh, I found these at an estate sale. These were hiding in a closet. <laughs> More die cuts. <laughs> it's gonna make me go on that rabbit hole again, but here. Look at how cute these are. Oh my goodness. Isn't that the cutest? Ooh, this is totally 80s or 90s. 99 cents made in Taiwan, but I've got a couple of those. Okay, cool. So we've got like a pumpkin flashlight. These are always fun. This obviously doesn't have any batteries in it. These are cute. These are from Hallmark. These are new. I'm not sure what the date on them is, but they're super cute. You pull the little thing. Blah. <laughs> Blah. There's a little skeleton one. How cute is that? But the reason why I'm in here is because I saw something that I really wanted to display. Of course, I've got to display my little pumpkin spice tins. It's definitely have to find a place. Then I also saw these super fun horror nails. This is from the 80s, 87, 1987. Got a cute little mouse figurine. Look at that. Juggling some candy corn. How cute is that? I don't have a lot of this cutesy stuff, but this one really tugged on my heartstrings a little bit. And that is from Charming Tales. If you were curious. This is something I ran into. This is like... Um, 
you know, if there was a, a restaurant that had Halloween themed, you know how they put the like red candles on the table? Like if you go into a Mexican restaurant or an Italian restaurant, they always have those classic plastic or glass, you know, votive candles that they always light. They should put these on the table. So just letting you know if anyone out there, you know, has a Halloween restaurant, that would be so much fun. Got some vintage cake things we can throw up in a little bit. So yeah, this box is just full of fun stuff. I'm glad I ran into this because I actually picked up another one at a sale and I was curious which box was better. I'm gonna go check that out right now. So this is the fun thing about collecting is when you start running into multiples of something, you can take the one that you like better and then pass along the other one. So in this instance, gosh, this is gonna be a hard one. As you can see, I have two of the same cookie cutters. This one is a little bit bright orange, which might be better for my display because of the orange that I picked. This one kind of blends in a little bit better, but I think the box to this one is a little bit nicer than the box to this one. But gosh, they're so similar. Oh, what to choose, what to choose. Let's look inside. Any differences on the inside? It's just, you know, cookie cutters inside. And I think this one has the same thing. Yeah, this one has exactly the same thing inside. So maybe I'll just stick with the one that I had before only because the graphics on it are a little bit brighter. Sounds like a winner, right? It's a little bit later in the afternoon and I'm losing my light, so this will probably be the last clip for the day. I'll have to pick up again tomorrow filming, but I just wanted to say I found all my nugget buddies and my Halloween 90s and 80s stuff. So I'm super excited about this box. I am going to probably set a lot of it up in here. These are some of my favorite things because it reminds me of my childhood. And as much as I love the vintage, vintage stuff, this is the stuff that makes my heart so happy whenever I come across it at estate sales and yard sales. So a lot of it needs to get up there. So let's see how much of this we can put on the shelf. Well, this ended up being a lot more work than I anticipated, so <laughs> I'm out of light for today, but we will pick up again tomorrow where I will have more light and more time to fill up these shelves. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you on the next video.